Although we're not using them in our some uh, specialised skills um, project, there are a couple of other wall, uh, window types that you might be interested in, especially for when you're designing your house down the track. Um, and they're called shop front and uh, a wall. So they're both in as walls rather than as windows. So if we come into wall and we go down, you can see we've got curtain wall and storefront. So let's have a look at the curtain wall first. Now, you need to set up exactly the same way as you would a wall. So I'm going to make this one up to level one. Um, if you come down here, you can see that there's vertical grid and horizontal grid, but at the moment you can't do anything with those. So I'll show you what happens with that in a minute. So I'm going to put a what we call a curtain wall around here. Now you may have seen these, usually big shops, car yards, those sorts of things have these massive great walls that actually just seem to hang down from the roof. Um, and they can or they can be absolutely clear or they can be segments of glass joined together. So that's what we're putting in here. So I'm just going to start here. It's on the outside, so I want to change that over to the inside. So I'll just put, uh, hit my shift key, come up to the corner and come across to the other side of that wall. And hit escape a couple of times. And let's, let's have a look at that and see what we've got there. If we look at it in 3D. And we'll just spin that around. You can see that we now have this wall that is glass. Okay. Now, often, you, you, if it's just a small little corner or a small little part, you will see it just fully clear. But often in the big buildings or uh, where you want to have a bit of strength in the wall, it will be necessary to put in some grids. And we can do that by editing the type. And coming down to the bottom, I'll just make this so that you can see it. Coming down to the bottom, we've got horizontal grid, vertical grid. So I'm just going to click in there and change that. You can change it to the distance or number. I'm going to change it to number. And I'm going to do the same to the vertical grid. And we'll talk more about mullions um, later on but we don't need to worry about those at the moment. So I'm just okaying that, okaying that. And you can see now that, that it, it's put in a whole lot of grids into these windows. If I only wanted to do it in one window, what I'd have to do is to actually create, duplicate this and create a second one with the grid in it. But I'm just showing you how what it looks like at this stage. So then we can alter that grid number by changing those fields and horizontal, let's make that two and apply. And it should be applying, but I'm not sure why. Maybe because I've got that sorted there. Let's just let's just do that again. Just click on that one to change it. Three. And I'll just change this one to two. And you can see that's changed that one there uh, or, uh, straight away. Okay, so you can do that, uh, and that's called a curtain wall. If we spin around and have a look at this spot we have here, uh, what I'm going to put in here, I'm coming back to my floor plan, I'm going to put in what's called a storefront window. And again, they're in actually a, a wall within Revit, so we can st um, storefront, we can pick what level it's on and up to what level we want it, or we can go to a, a connected height. Now I'll make this one, let's say I'll make this one 300. Uh, sorry, not 300, 3000. Just so you can see how we can do it rather than go up to the level. And oh, there we go. And I'm just going to pick this point here. Now we can have an offset here. We, we probably need to play around with the offsets a little bit, but you'll see what I mean. You put that in, it's actually coming out, the, out from the wall a little bit. Just turn it around. When we turn it around, we actually only just put the the glass in a different part within that. So what we would need to do is to offset that and I'll offset it. Let's see what happens if we offset it minus 100. That's going up and down so we don't want to do it that way. We want it zero there. And 
it's just the grids and, and the horizontal grids are the same as that. So we can play around with that. The, probably the best way to do it is to get it all and just use our arrow key to move it back so that it lines up with the with the other side walls. And if we have a look at that in 3D, you can see how it's a shop type window. Uh, it's got a little bit at the top and large panels. As I said, you can alter all of that down here by putting in whatever horizontal or vertical grids that you want. At the moment it's set at 4 and 1. So it's got 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1 going up this way. And we're, we're also able to put doors and so forth into that, but we'll have a look at that a bit later on. Or if you need it in your um, job, if you're using uh, one of these in your final design. Okay, so but just something to keep in mind uh, if you want to use um, large windows in your house.